Welcome to Double Talk, everybody, right here on Channel 98. I'm Mark Steffen. I thought our producer just said quiet. Didn't he just say quiet? He kept saying quiet for some reason. He's a walking contradiction. It just, uh, I guess we can't be quiet. Oh, thank goodness the names came on. I am the other guy, Michael Mandel. Good to be here. And uh, we're your talk of the town. And we're going, you know, it is good to be here. Why? Because yesterday we all perished we weren't supposed to in, be here. in an incredible um, galactic... Um, it was a close was, one. I know. The Mayans really pegged it because they could see 5,000 years in advance, apparently, because we no. know that we, we even, we're America, where we do a lot of research, right? We no. have a lot of science, yet we can't even predict what will happen in the next two weeks with the fiscal cliff. It's Actually, only gonna, here's the truth of what was really going to happen. A giant asteroid was going to hit the Earth, but... It had other things to do this weekend. No, the, the reason that our, our country basically went broke and all the other countries in Europe pretty much went broke, they had to pay off the aliens to deflect the asteroid from hitting Earth. So I guess it was worth it, and we uh, lived to uh, see another Armageddon. I am just glad I am here with somebody as knowledgeable as you. Oh, thank you. I don't know where you get your information, but uh, it, it sounds true. <laughs> Every we, word. We're going to have footnotes at the end of the show. Just look at the footnotes and you see where Mark got his information. So if we're here, the Earth didn't end, and then the Doonesbury comic strip will have to go on. In fact, I think a lot of people think the end of the Earth is always coming because, you know, they feel depressed around this time of the year, right? Well, they do. And in fact, there's a lot of people who are probably depressed that the world did not come to an end. Right. They were hoping for it. They ran up a lot of charges on their credit cards, and they figured really they could make all their friends happy. But of course, if they did run up their credit card on charges to give presents on Christmas Day, well, that's sort of thwarted too. If I they, hope they had an early Christmas. Yeah, they had to give their presents before the end of the earth. You notice how it's round. The calendar. We don't have calendars that are round, even though the earth is round and we go around the sun. A and, clock is round. And, and our heads are round, time. mostly. Except yours. Ground round. Ground round. You don't even eat beef for good reason. No, the ground. Oh, the ground the is, earth round? is round. The ground is round. Yes. So anyway, we we narrowly averted this, but I think we do have another Armageddon coming. Uh, what did we avert? Oh, really? We we don't know. We it's I great that people. Of what we oh were oh yes. Expect. Throw that in. We yes. we, uh, of course, we don't know what that means. It's just a picture of of uh, Star Wars the end or of the something. World as we know it. Uh, tractor beam, and that's our present when we die. We get uh, how many virgins? 72? Seventy. Well, if you're Islamic, okay, you get well, seventy-two, right? Even if they're not a virgin, it's okay as long as they're wearing a, a Christmas hat. Frankly, I'm probably the only guy and who wouldn't all. want all those virgins. Okay, you have some inside information or outside information? Oh, what's your at inside this point, information? I don't want to give lessons. You don't want to give no, lessons? No, I'd like them to teach me a thing or two. Well, it only means that you have to give lessons seventy-two times. No, it's an ongoing thing. Some women don't yes. pick it up as quickly as others. Well, they have to go for It's called multiple lessons. <laughs> yes, that's what yes. it's called. You know what? That could kill you could. if you're in heaven. Well, you, you, you have a heart you attack happy, and you're right? in heaven. No, you die again. How you go to heaven two. heaven 2. Heaven the 2. Sequel. The sequel. Yes. yes. I can't wait. Sylvester Stallone, he's going to get up to what? Heaven 5? Heaven 7? What, seventh heaven? Well, I don't know. I don't know. Dante only had a few hells. You know, there's a lot of ways to die besides the world coming to an end. Tell me. Like I TV was show, wondering about that. A thousand ways to die? Yes. Well, one way is by food poisoning. That's one these, way? These little critters right here. Where are you? In your food. Are you these are pathogens. At, are you aiming at your stomach or that picture? Right there. Are you aiming at right there. Oh, there. But uh, the reason you're bringing this up, and you brought it up last night also... Last night? A number of times? Yeah. A couple of nights Actually, ago you brought yes, it up? There was br things at both ends were stirring. Uh, not <laughs> well, even, that's what Chris is about. Something mouse. is stirring. Yes. And, uh, no, you know, I bring this up because, you know, when you get food poisoning in a restaurant. It's the second time you had food poisoning that you talked about on this show. It's, Who knows? It's vital to report it to the authorities, if not the restaurant itself. The authorities need to know about it because uh, if you're not the only one that's getting sick at this restaurant, uh, they need to know this so that steps can be taken. But even if it is the only time that they know of it happening, because most people don't report it. Uh, they think they have flu symptoms or something like that, because frequently they're the same type of symptoms. But if you do get food poisoning in a restaurant, you need to call these this number. 
But people that's think here, Los, right? But you had it in. Oh, there's people El Paso. People think in, in Las Cruces you call the health department. You don't. You call the state environment department. The Satan? state? State. Oh, the state. State, state environment environmental department. They're the ones that have uh, jurisdiction over restaurants, restaurant inspections, and so forth. Some people think the state is Satan. And so, uh, to so make it, to, if you get sick in a restaurant, call this number here. You got sick in El Paso, right? Five two four sixty three hundred. Yeah, I got sick in an El Paso restaurant yesterday, and I had to, I had to call all around the place trying to find where I would report it. And after calling about eleven different places. Uh, I finally found the number to call, which is in Texas, the health department. And that number is 915-771-5702. And, and you had to take time out from your other activities that you're doing because of your food poisoning. I Do you find time in between running to the bathroom? I had to take time out from throwing up and having diarrhea to make these calls. But um, It's nice to be seen next to you. And s you're so calm and quiet. Yes. So, um, so that's what happens when uh, you, you have uh, food poisoning. You, now is the time you should watch out because there's a lot of food you're getting from other sources, right? Right. You're going to parties. You're making big meals. There. See that? Yeah. I would say that should be cooked. You have to be very careful with raw meats. And you don't want cross-contamination from pork to chicken to veal to uh, beef. You have to be very careful not use the same knives for these things. To lettuce uh, with yes. uh, stuff like that. But uh, uh, make sure your, <laughs> your food is cooked to 160 degrees inside, right? Well, yes. I don't know what that does. It just heats up your... Well, you want chi you want fowl to be cooked to about 165 degrees in internal temperature. What do you think about red Meats. tamales? People see a lot of red tamales this time of the year. Yes, they do. That could be dangerous because well, it's they have pork, pork, and if you have trichinosis, it could be even sitting out. You know, they have to be brought up to the proper temperature. Eat the food quickly. That's what you have to do. If you get anything at a party, don't procrastinate. Eat it right away. Don't let it sit there. One good thing that's safe to eat during uh, Christmas, I find, is uh, potato chips. Mm hmm. There's not a lot of processing there. You well, know. just make sure you don't get the ones that have hydrogenation involved in their Well, processing. do you know that uh, in a recent study, 60% of New Mexicans are either overweight or obese? I'm probably overweight. Are and you? And probably you are, too. I'm overweight. I yes. fully admit that. So, uh, but they just resolutions are always important in a time like this. That's true. It's an ongoing fight to, to watch your weight. So you, you have to keep doing it. New Year's reminds you, and when you really get stuffed at Christmas, that reminds you also. And when you have food poisoning, this is a reminder. God is telling you, be well, careful. Well, you know, food poisoning is one way to lose weight. If you can just on keep a, it off. On a regular basis, right? You could. Maybe we should go down to Mexico and get the bottled water and sell it here it's, as a weight loss Oh, uh, Montezuma's cure. Revenge Diet. Yeah, it'll work. So <laughs> we, have, we have weight loss to worry about. Uh, somebody's doing a stu uh, survey at NMSU. And they discovered that 47% of people in NMSU are either overweight or obese. Now, if, if like, uh, you know, the IQ, IQ, the s middle intelligence is 100, right? Really? Isn't it? Is that low? Yeah, it is. Okay. Isn't that how they do it? They keep it at 100, and the people above is smarter, and the people below are morons. Oh, okay. Specifically. I'm probably in the lower one. Yeah, you're probably a moron. Or with lower. A, with a fat head. I don't think fathead is one of the classifications. But if you want to be a fathead, keep eating. <laughs> I'm a maroon. Anyway, uh, but if you have half of the, uh, you know, if obesity and overweightness is at the 50% point, then of course at least 50% of people are going to be overweight. Okay. And 50% are going to be underweight. They are. But they have established a healthy weight for every height and body yes, shape. We so, are. Yes, we all so know based on that, it's sixty percent and forty uh, percent. I, I hope somebody's writing okay. this down because I'm I'm not. Well, let's go on to the because next. We're talking topic. about restaurants in Las Cruces. We love talking about restaurants. We do, and uh, you know th that's where you get food poisoning. Sometimes. That restaurant is uh, on Columbus Avenue and Seventy uh, Second Street. Isn't that where uh, Seinfeld and the bunch? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, there's uh, we lost a restaurant in Las Cruces. We did in the past week. I wasn't yes, keeping track. Yes, unfortunately, the, I always hate to see a restaurant go. They were trying hard for a couple of years. Downtown, it, it was the only place open late. That was the late night lunchbox. SBs, late night lunchbox, yes. where they had a number of people coming and doing musical things. I think you just said they did only vegetarian stuff. As far as I know, yes. I'm not quite sure. I, you know, Really, it pretty much vegetarian. They had art hanging on the walls. It was good. It was uh, two, two young kids. youthful people who had a had a dream and uh, kept their dream for at least two yeah, years. They were open until four in the morning. The only other place downtown open late is uh, Denny's. Oh, that late? Yes. Oh. Well, 
Mm. So, yeah, so they're gone now. But we do have a new restaurant in Las Cruces. Well, we got a couple of new things Not going on here, don't but we? The newest one. We've, yes. It's a sandwich shop called Jimmy John's. They're allegedly a chain. Yes. And People have heard of them from other parts of the country. I guess so. That's a picture of their logo. So I ate there this week. They're pretty much like uh, Subway. Subway with the twist. They do heroes. They do bread with uh, really thick like bread. Quiznos, uh, pretty much the same deal. They, they're not big on toasting them. Oh. Quiznos has its own niche. I like Subway. I like Quiznos. Jimmy John's is close to the university. It's also close to the new Membres Valley uh, brewery. brewery. So even though Membres Va whatever, Valley Brewery does not have food, now you can go to Jimmy John's for a sandwich or you can go over to Zafiro's Get for a pizza, a pizza and bring it, it back. And have it with your beer. Or if you're so inclined to drink coffee instead, you could take all the same stuff over to Starbucks. To Starbucks, I guess they let you do that, even though they I do sell desserts. They, they do sell, not only do they sell desserts, they sell breakfast sandwiches. Oh, yes. And they may sell regular sandwiches. Well, I don't know. The, you know, the, the Starbucks you desserts look tantalizing, but once you once you try one, they're dry and tasteless. I like them. I find it. I think they're good. I don't like them They at all. have, you know, their little uh, apple things are good. Their little lemon cakes are pretty good. Mm. Uh, Disappointed. You're just prejudiced against uh, corporate corporate uh, America. Well, that's same true. as you don't like uh, uh, Olive Garden. Um, Do you like Red Lobster? No. Uh, how do I can help? No. You? Uh, but you know, we you, we went to Jason's, right? Yes, we did. And uh, that's a new place that's open. Up so that's on, a regional chain. Yeah, it's on uh, Loman, across from uh, Dion's. You had a very good. Uh, Enjoyed the salmon sandwich. What was the, what was the soup you had? The uh, soup. You had soup. Oh, yeah. I don't remember. It was you good. Had the, uh, uh, it's quite good. New Orleans oh, look, style. Bisque. Seafood no, bisque. That was seafood bisque. Seafood whatever. It was uh, gumbo. Seafood gumbo. You, you loved it. Uh, yeah, I did like it. Was it was good. Thank so that's much. a good thing to go. Yes. And uh, don't forget the, uh, uh, we talked about it last week, uh, Main Street Bistro. They're open up and running. So is Savoy Restaurant. Savoy. Tatsu's new great. restaurant over there in Messia. And we're going to go try uh, Taste of Belgium. It's been open a while. Uh, they're still there. That's a good sign. And they're still there, strangely enough. They got a nice write-up in this week's Pulse, so maybe that'll help. And the Pulse. You if know. you want to get a mutton sandwich or a lamb sandwich. It didn't say mutton. It lamb. says they don't taste that much like mutton. I hope not. You don't like mutton? No. There's no place. You, you can't really buy mutton unless you have your own sheep. Then you don't have to buy it. You just have to mm -hmm. assassinate it. it. Assassinate it. And, and then do something it to death. and hide the body. And when you're hiding the body, you know, cut it up into little pieces. Um, so we love the uh, fact that there are still new restaurants coming into yes, town. Yes, and for once, they're not Mexican restaurants or steakhouses. I, you know, there hasn't been a new Mexican restaurant coming up good. in a while. We Isn't don't need them. We We've like got them enough all. of them. Carrillo's was uh, named for having uh, some of the best pozole in New Mexico in uh, the AAA magazine. Carrillo's? Carrillo's. Oh, Carrillo's. Carrillo's. You know the little place behind... Behind Pickwick? Behind Pickwick. It used that to be the Welcome Inn. Right. I That's see. pretty good. So I think we have to take a break now and uh, give it some time before we do. We let things steep here, you know, and let them... S so the food and the flavors uh, get all savory. What kind of restaurant would you like to see come to Las Cruces? Of the chains that we know. Of the chains that we know? I would much rather have, like, a Romano's... Uh, Macaroni Grill or one of or those California Pizza like that. Kitchen. Those are always good. Those are I good. would rather have some wonderful chef come into town and make wonderful stuff. I would too. And with uh, that, let's we are going wait. To Maybe take it'll a, happen during the break. We'll take a quick break and be right back after these words. Welcome to La Buena Vida Women's Club, located away from the crowds but close to home. Come in throughout the day for Jazzercise, the world's dance fitness leader for nearly 40 years. Treat yourself to a relaxing massage or unwind in the lounge area or outside on the balcony with friends. La Buena Vida Women's Club, located and designed with women in mind. For information, call Diane at 650-9721. Hey, you, come here. Do you want to know the news? The Las Cruces Channel is now on seven days a week. We'll keep it right here.
Come and see us today and discover why our service is second to none. In business for over 17 years, we have the right car for you. When you buy a vehicle from Fiesta Motors, we do everything possible to ensure your satisfaction. Located at the corner of El Paseo and Main. See you there. Celebrate Fiesta Motors. We're buying a car. It's always a celebration. And we're back right here on Double Talk. Mark Steffen. Michael Mann. What's that? The token nod of the head. Along Michael Mandel. Michael Mandel. Yes, I'm here. And um, We're talking about people like ourselves now. Famous people. Famous in movies. The movie, uh, we're not movie, but. Uh, we're famous, but nobody knows it. Well, you don't have to, like, sprue it, it all around town, you know. As long as you know you're famous, you should be happy. Well, that's what the show is for, isn't it? That's right. Our own self aggrandizement. Well, somebody else who was kind of in the spotlight uh, yes. this week, unfortunately. Uh, beauty queens, uh, beauty like queens we were talking about, like us. Yes, they're very photogenic, like uh, we are. And uh, well, but she's so happy. Now that was up Is until that the right one. Up until uh, Thursday, that was Miss Las Cruces. Was she five foot two? Yes, eyes of. And she was on her way eyes of to bleary. the Miss Mexico pageant. Unfortunately, she got into a little bit of trouble, crashed her car. Well, not while she was on her way to the pageant. I uh, know. Well, once you're new Miss Las Cruces, you could be in the New Mexico. No, but pageant. unfortunately, she won't make the pageant. She crashed her car while driving drunk into a light pole. Knocked it over, and it fell over into a bunch of other things, and caused <laughs> and the power the went wires out. Went, yeah, for seventeen hundred people, and the electric company was saying, "Well, you know, we don't really charge the people for it because it costs a lot of money to put yes. the pole up, get the electricity back, uh, pay for everybody's spoiled yogurt." Well, you know what else happened? That what did cost a lot of money? What they had to close off that entire street. McDonald's was closed. All three or four motels were closed. Uh, the motels had to make refunds to people who had reservations or who had already paid. Uh, because they couldn't get in and out of the hotel. I Those hotels know. lost thousands of dollars. The businesses there lost thousands Are of dollars. Are you making this up? The Pickwick with the gas station Did you actually read lost this? thousands of dollars. Uh, and there she is. And there she is with Miss New Mexico. Who won last year, probably last year's winner. So Miss so Miss, Miss Las Cruces' crowning event, unfortunately. She didn't get crowned. At least she didn't get hurt. What if she driving a crown in Victoria? <laughs> I think it's what she's uh, driving, but at least she didn't get hurt. You know, we, we overlook true. the fact that uh, her her alcohol level wasn't that high, nearly double, you know, mm -hmm. the, the minimum. And then, unfortunately, a fellow who was behind her went through and dragged a bunch of the wires in it and hit the ground. He got pulled over and was cited for driving with, yeah. with an expired license. Well, maybe that was so a good So you got to be careful. So you? she was safe. Uh, her name was, uh, what, Sarah Rich is Sarah, Sarah Richardson. Richardson. She bowed out under pressure. Which was very appropriate. I and guess. Her, the runner-up, who was Taylor Ray, do we have a picture of Taylor? We're not sure. Yeah, she's she not was. as famous yet, but now she'll be going to the new uh, the Miss New Mexico contest. I wonder if it, if it happened in this way. How, what Ta do you mean? Taylor Ray, who's first runner-up, went her out drunk. and got Miss Las Cruces and drunk. Oh, and said, her "Here's drink. your keys. Wait and drive home." You know, actually, she didn't drink that much. She had a 12-ounce beer and a 12-ounce margarita. margarita. Margaritas well, are usually... she's five foot two, 115 pounds. Well, that's true, but, you know, margaritas don't have that much booze in it. Well, that's uh, all she said it. she drank. She was double the double the limits. Maybe she wasn't used to drinking. Her body didn't absorb it. She didn't have enough, you know, There's food. No food in her stomach. Uh, it, you always have to watch uh, your drinking. Anyway, she got careless, and that's what happens sometimes. Uh, I'm sorry she had to back out. Um, yes, back out of being by the pole mm -hmm. or back out of the uh, I'm sorry the she had to back pageant. out of the pageant. Um, I think sometimes we might be a little bit too strict. Well, on these we wish things. Taylor Ray the best of yes, luck. We do. I hope she carries on in pageant fashion and represents you, us. And you got to imagine the way they pick them are kind of like uh, uh, they pay off the judges, right? No, it's oh. like uh, I like this one a little better. You know, so it's not real scientific. And who's to say that the one who's picked as first is actually really going to win any more than the other one? Because you never tell. a lot of people have different uh, tastes. I must say, though, that uh, Miss Las Cruces had the best-looking mugshot I've ever seen. <laughs> it's important to smile for your really? mugshot, because that can come back to haunt you. What about Nick Nolte? He has yeah. great uh, mugshots, Nick, Nick yeah. Nolte. But, you know, look at, she's, she's, uh, she's, she's bright, happy. She's chipper. You know, I wonder if she's from Latin America, because it turns out that Latin America, uh, look at that, she's, and she's got excellent teeth. Yes. It's good to see that her face was not hurt and uh, yes. that she felt okay. We hope this is the right picture. <laughs> Don't hold that's us her. to it. You sure? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Her. But but it turns out that people from Latin America of all over the world are the, considered 
by yeah. a survey of a thousand people in each country to, to be, be the happiest. happiest. It's good to be happy. See? He a perhaps is from, Very what, happy. what they say, Guatemala is the third uh -huh. happiest uh, country. South America, the Central America, they, lo they, have, they love it down there. They're happy being uh, uh, around. You know, the weather's nice, usually. It's almost always nice. Maybe it gets hot. a little humid. But humid. if it's humid and you, you sit around and you, you drink some uh, whatever it is you have. I think they do drink a lot down there. Well, that would make people happy. But, you know, sometimes the dr drinking is a, is a symptom of depression. Yes, but only for in northern climes. You know, in northern climes, people drink because there's nothing else to do. You're inside. On the snow all over. And, and you know, you look at you look at uh, the northern uh, European peoples as being what intellectual because they're inside. There's nothing to do but read and ponder things. But people in warm climates, it's more fun. You could be outside all the time. You want to relax, so you and should be, be happier. happier. You know, Scandinavians are known for their suicide rates. It's true. Uh, and they're also known for... They're being very doer and dour. 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 They drink doers. They, they get dour. They drink doers. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm wondering if there's a correlation, the weather and the uh, happiness. Well, but also, into what we call IQ, you well, know, yeah, we it, make it up. Well, but look at, look at Seattle, is. Washington. There Always. Are the, the number of days of precipitation there causes a great many people to commit suicide and be depressed. That's right, it's but they also related. but they also create uh, pretty good music in Seattle. Seattle's a hot so, music town. So you know, creativity food out of out town. of sadness comes creativity, maybe because you're looking for a way out of your sad situation. So a lot of coffee bars there. Yes, yes, coffee bars, seafood. Eat it. That's my diet. Yeah, let's go to Seattle. Seafood, eat it. That's how it works. So sure, yeah. let's go to Seattle. We're going to do the same show in Seattle. You coming along? Now, crew. A lot of people get depressed and they don't know how to deal with it, so they. Get they, guns. Uh, they, they get a gun and they go out and act out. We've seen this. We've seen this happen recently. Yes, too many times. It's not the guns that are causing it. It's the people who, you know. And uh, anybody who is uh, cogent and has media in front of them knows that in the last week we've had a lot of uh, gun control talk because of the tragedy in uh, Connecticut. And uh, uh, we're looking at even people from the NRA took down their website for a couple of days because they didn't want to uh, ring in Being on this sensitive. because, you know, you, you feel bad whenever uh, tons of little kids get killed. True. And, but, and you know, the same day this happened in, in Connecticut, in China, somebody attacked a mad people. man ran amok with a knife in a school, slashing 13 children. Most of who lived. Yeah, 30 children. Yes, most of whom lived. But it's, so it's not just guns. OJ didn't need a gun to commit his crimes. Um, you know, well, if there are no guns, they'll, they'll choose something else. Right, but uh, guns are very efficient in, in killing people, which is why people like guns. Right. So not just killing people, but deer. Well, reindeer. I should just and be Christmas is coming. Well, that's why more and more people are carrying their own concealed weapons. Is that why? So it's protection. Yes. Yeah, so uh, I mean, I am for uh, stricter gun control because apparently forty percent of the people who sell guns don't require any sort of uh, identification. Well, that's because you buy it at a gun, either right. at a gun... Uh, store. No, not a gun store, a, a gun... Convention. Uh, convention, one of those Or things? from a private party. Right, so there you go. Anybody could get a gun. They're dangerous to have. You should... Gun, yes. Be uh, responsible. Of course, there is... Gun a, show. Insanity is dangerous to have, too, <laughs> as you should know. Oh, yes. It's very dangerous so, for uh, you. Well, you know, gun control, it's not just a, you know, really about the gun. It's about the control, though. Yes. Isn't that what that sign just said? Was it up there? I don't know. We have a sign that says that. Uh, one of the things that is interesting, uh, the Reese family was arrested from uh, uh, Deming uh, for their gun shop because they were selling to the cartel, allegedly. So now those first two in the line are the these father. Two, the father, uh, Ryan. No, that's uh, Rick. And I think that's Ryan. They are still in jail. They appealed to the judge to let them off, and he denied their appeal. There it is. It's well, not about guns. It's about control. The only thing they were guilty of was was uh, false giving, falsifying giving false statements. It, and it's, well, falsifying uh, federal documents. One count each. And they're stuck in in prison because of that. Yeah. Whereas the guy who uh, uh, was in prison for 22 months and they didn't let him out, uh, Steve Slevin. Yes. Uh, he's, uh, we're jumping here, but we did it. Uh, 
the, go, the government appealed giving him $22 million, a million dollars a month. In for, damages uh, while for he was being there. neglected and basically tortured while he was there. They're still going to appeal it, but they lost their first appeal. $22 million for anybody is, is a lot of money. A lot of money. So. Now, um, uh, let's skip the New Mexico ad campaign. No, no, let's go to it because New Mexico, yeah, let's go to New Mexico, made about $36 a million dollars in added revenues based on their ad campaign. And uh, from that, we made about uh, a little over $3 million in extra taxes from that. And we only spent a million dollars to to advertise it. So a lot of people did well. That's, yeah. So, uh, so well, that's good. as one who's worked in advertising for a long time, basically advertising is free because you get three to five times your return on any ads you, you place in most cases. Even here. So come and Even here, exactly. Here. And, so, and um, yes. I, let's skip Virgin Galactic and talk about a white Christmas. Okay, we'll skip that. Because we'll talk uh, about them later. Well, Virgin Galactic uh, had a successful trial in their uh, airport. But we don't have time for them. In, uh, uh, we'll talk about them later with the when Mojave we do Desert. have more time. White Christmas is like showing that? downtown at the community theater. It's the musical version of the movie, I guess. Which is on TV every night this week. Which is great because apparently, according to the uh, website, they're sold out. It's sold out, I so guess. So don't go. Or see if they could give them a call, see if you can get uh, reservations. Get on the list, yeah. We're going to do a list. Do we have a list? Time for a list of Christmas lights. Do you want to do that? Go ahead. As we close. Christmas lights uh, are around town. Uh, 1485 Tierra del Sol, which is off uh, North Valley. Uh, 3201 uh, Missouri, east of Telshore. Uh, 3984 Tiger Woods off University. Uh, 21, you're all writing this down, right? This is on your street, 2133, your old street. Calle 31 de Calle de Sueños. Is and Diana house? Mora right around the corner has a nice display. Diana Mora uh, at 1308 Diana Mora. Uh, City View, everybody knows that. It's right near Hooters. Oh, okay. Uh, you've seen that. It's on the corner. Uh, apparently the 1200 and 1300 block of Mesquite have a whole melange of uh, lights. Uh, there's, uh, well, there's uh, 4041 Stoneville Court, which is by Tombow. And uh, yes. we all know there used to be one down by the so-called Pecan Patch. What was the name of that street? Pecan Acres. Pecan well, Acres. That guy, that's the guy that moves over to across from Tombow. Oh, okay. So there's yes. plenty of lights out there. And uh, go see the lights. Uh, oh, Enjoy later today, wait a second, later Merry today. Merry Christmas, everyone. Uh, I think tomorrow at the Cineport, uh, Nutcracker Suite, 20 bucks. Oh, the, the, the Nutcracker Ballet, you mean? The Ballet. What okay. else is happening? That's about and it. Got, that's it. We Thanks for go. joining us right here on the End of the World show of Double Talk. And we'll see you next week. We hope. We're seeing you right now because the TV works two ways. We, we, you heard that, you know, so.